Hola, buenos días. Soy Nico. So today, quick update, face peeling, all that. Got a chemical peel. We've been through this last video. If you didn't see it, I just wanted to get it out of the way. People thought I caught monkeypox. No, bitch, <laughs> I just had a chemical peel. But um, we're going to be tackling a subject that's a bit more serious today. So I'm going to be addressing it in a more serious fashion. FYI, I have a nervous tick where if something is extremely serious or heavy, I actually giggle towards the end of my speech. So I'm going to try to avoid that, seeing as how this conversation is very important and it happens in the community a lot more than we address. But before we get into that, if you like this kind of commentary, if you like this kind of channel, if you like this kind of video, make sure to check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash aesthetics for more exclusive videos with you guys and to be a part of the podcast that will be dropping on Monday at 3 p.m. Yeah, bitch is actually coming because a lot of y'all, Nico, post it or shut the fuck up. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. But let's get started now that we've gotten that out of the way. So today we're going to be talking about um, three OnlyFans performers. One is more of a past tense, while the other two are more recent. Um, it is about Jayala and Notorious Big. Skin peeling, we acknowledge it, ignore it. Two different skin tones. But essentially, Notorious Big, who is called Refugio, uh, that's what I've known him as online because that's what, I, I believe that's his name. He has been accused, allegedly, of a his partner, of putting his partner, Jayala, and his previous partner, Lothario, in DV situations. Nico, what does that mean? D, as in relationship, V, as in altercation. That's the best way I can say it without YouTube censoring me. So essentially, the Lothario situation happened years ago. I was actually online when that happened and I saw it in real time, but I did not have my channel, I don't believe. So this is previous information that I still have evidence of, um, where Lothario basically came online and said that Refugio allegedly had put the pause on him and does it often. Domestic. Don't be in a relationship where they beat you up like that. Yeah, I put it on social media. You guys see it? And he posted a video where you could see that he had black eyes, he had a bust lip, and Refugio was screaming at him in the background. So this is documented. I have the video. I'm going to insert it. But essentially, this happened, and he even made tweets about how when they were in their OnlyFans relationship, because they used to be an OnlyFans Latino couple, he would have to perform super happy adult fun time with other people in collaborations that he didn't necessarily want to because Refugio wanted to network and get more numbers. And that's a conversation that they should have in their relationship, seeing as how they were an OnlyFans couple. That's kind of something that you decide together. So I can't really speak on that because at the end of the day, you have free will. But if there is a DV situation going on in the background, it kind of pushes you to align with them. And he made a lasting tweet about the, this is the last tweet he made about the relationship, where basically he said, it burns because not only were you cheating on me with the person I introduced you to, but you also locked me out of the house and made me wait until you were done. Essentially saying that he was hunching somebody Lothario had introduced him to, cheating on him. Because a lot of people don't understand that in OnlyFans and or open relationships, there are still guidelines and bottom rules. That's why in a lot of OnlyFans couples, you see them either we play together or we don't play at all. Some of them have different standings, seeing as how every relationship is different, especially when it comes to open relationships and or polyamory, etc. You define your own rules, but clearly there was a line that was crossed here. But Refugio didn't necessarily respond to Lothario for the sole purpose that he had the bigger platform, he had the more established brand, and he kind of just moved on and eventually got into this relationship with Jayala. Um, Jayala, I've met him once. Uh, we're both from Houston, so we had a mutual friend and I met him at a bar before. He seems really cool, he's a shorty. Uh, and he actually came out after they had broken up because they became an OnlyFans Latino power couple in LA. And 
at a certain point, you saw them stop posting together and Jayala stopped posting all together for a, a, a good amount of time. Um, but he came forward to basically say, this is what's been happening. These are the texts that I'm backing to prove it, that this man has been putting the pawns on me as well. I'm trying to like word it, you know, differently, but it's a very serious situation. So I'm trying not to laugh. Um, he was putting the pawns on me and Refugio even admitted that he has an addiction problem. I don't know what his vices are, but he admitted it. And usually when people suffer from addiction, they do have episodes. They do not know how to control their anger and or, you know, emotions because they're under the influence. So when he came forward, he posted all of the DMs, all the messages, basically of Refugio saying, you're worthless without me. You don't have anyone in this world. Your mom and dad have passed away. All you have is that dog and a couch and that's all you're going to get. You're a leech. Nobody's going to come up for you. But when Jayala went public with it, when he said, this is what I've been dealing with. This is who this person really is and the that he's put across me, along with I'm coming forward for Lothario, his ex who came forward and everybody ignored it because Refugio was the bigger name. He said, I'm coming forward to say that this happened to me and this happened to him and he bared it all. And then you could see the follow-up messages that Refugio basically saying, hey, take that down. I'm sorry, I'll take down any disparaging things I said about you. I'll take down our videos. I just wanna move past this. I don't want our dirty laundry aired out. You know, let's just move past this, please. If this is the last thing you do for me. And he eventually did it. He eventually deleted the tweets and tried to move on, but I always get, you know, the screenshots. I don't always talk on something immediately. Like I have a lot of information and tea that's backed up just because I've been busy with traveling and work. But this is something I wanted to bring to the forefront for the sole purpose of DV goes unchecked in our communities because people think two men in a relationship, if they put the paws on each other, then that's perfectly fine. It is never okay to put your hands on somebody. It's never okay to put the pause, especially on someone that you are dating, someone that you say that you love and you have an intimate relationship for the sole purpose of that's not love. Nico, I've been in situations where people get arrested towards me, where somebody's put their hands on me before. I personally do not come online with my information because I keep it very business professional. I keep it very serious. I mean, obviously we crack jokes through spill tea, but I'm not one of those people that's gonna come online and bear my soul because I know how the internet is. A lot of people are understanding, a lot of people are empathetic, but there are some people that like to weaponize your trauma against you. And it'll take one bitch. <laughs> it'll take one person to try to weaponize what I've been through against me and I will lose all decorum. Nico, y'all do not know how reckless my mouth used to be back in the past. So I'm a changed person, I'm reborn, I'm delivered if you will but there are certain things that I feel like you should never weaponize and or make a joke of. And this is one of those situations where I just would not show my vulnerability, but I definitely respect the power and the energy that it took to say, this is what's happening to me. This is what allegedly happened to his previous ex-man. This is a repeat scenario. And a lot of people just overlook it because he's a very popular influencer and or account. Once again, this is all alleged for legality reasons, this is all alleged. Even if we have proof and video of him screaming at his ex after allegedly putting paws on him, this is all alleged, but this is people coming out and speaking their truth. And I just wanted to shine a light on it because I feel like in these situations, we overlook it if the person is conventionally or societally attractive based on the totem poles that we have in our community, or if they are a very popular name because this person is still booking collabs, nobody really talks about it, it's really just hush hush. And I just wanted to address it because I feel like we should be talking about these things if we want to normalize getting the help that we need. Once again, if somebody ever puts their paws on you, they do not love you. That is not a form of expression. That is not passion. That is anger. That is not right. If somebody does it because they are having a battle with substances, that is still not right and not something you should excuse. If anything, you should be trying to distance yourself and get them the help that they need because clearly they are out of control. But yes, definitely drop your opinions down below. If you've ever been in a situation like this, definitely chime in because a lot of people, they just keep it to themselves because of the shame that it carries. And I'm not one of those people. As y'all can tell, I'm a very transparent person. I'm very open about the things I've been through. 
towards agree because like I say, we should all know less about each other. <laughs> but um, I feel like these are situations where we should come together as a community and say this isn't right and we should just address it. But yes, definitely drop your opinions down below. Definitely let me know if you saw this happen and play out in real time like I did. Because like I said, the Lothario situation, that was years ago. It happened, everybody kind of just moved past it. But the Jayala situation, that was about a month ago, I think. I've just been too busy traveling to give it the serious conversation that it definitely deserves. But yes, definitely drop your opinions down below. Boop. And now for a quick yet sincere shout out to my third eye tier subscribers, DJ and Kishi who is also very informative. You should check out the podcast. He always drops some wisdom. Also, this upcoming week's live stream topic is going to be the music industry and queer artists because we had a very productive conversation in Third Eye tier about the current music industry. So if that sounds interesting, definitely tune in.